Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Second Cup of Coffee. Pastor Tom with you. We're on week four of our series, Walk, W-A-L-K. Uh, typically, you'd have a conversation here uh, on the fourth week, but we have five weeks uh, this month, so we're going to bump that one week. Uh, we have a wonderful conversation for you next week. This week, we're going to kind of wrap up the series uh, before the conversation, uh, looking at a very familiar scripture. It's Isaiah 40. Uh, it's 30 and 31, but 31 says this, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The verse above that says, even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. Then verse 31 says, but those who wait on the Lord. Wait is not uh, an inactivity. Wait is a heart posture. Wait is a trust. Weight is going at the right pace and it's still going at the pace of God. That is really the key to a lot of the struggles that you may be facing. It's not the, um, it is the pace that you're going at. If we get ahead of God, we're not waiting on God. If, uh, so sometimes we need to wait, and I don't want to say for God to catch up, but for us to get back into sync with him. Because if we'll do with that, it's going to renew our strength. Why? Because when I'm in him and he is in me and I'm abiding on Christ, then I'm not ahead of him. I'm not behind him. I'm right with him. And in him, in my weakness, his strength is made known. Also, uh, Paul would say of himself that um, I am the, the least of all the apostles, but I am what I am by the grace of God. And what is that? It's a power working in me. That grace is available to me when I'm in Christ and I'm in step with Christ, in sync with Christ, walking at the pace of Christ. So walking with God requires a wisdom of pace. So if you're failing, if you are coming to a place where you're weak and, um, and you've, maybe you've fallen, get back in your pace with God because it may have been that you got out a little bit ahead of him or you got out too far ahead of him and you need to get back into sync with where he is. And um, that's going to renew your strength. And then he determines how you're going to get to where you're going to be. You can mount up with wings as eagles. You can run and you won't get weary or you can walk and not faint. A um, uh, wonderful pastor and preacher who's now gone on to be with the Lord, T.F. Tenney, said once um, at, at a conference that my sister was at, he said that, he said, we love this verse, Isaiah uh, 40, 31, because we want to mount up with wings, wings and we, we want to, with the eagles, we want to run and not be weary. He said, but there's a reality to Christianity. There's a whole lot of walking involved. And I took, she told me that she passed that down to me. And I just tucked it away in my heart because it encouraged me so much. Because I think what T.F. Tenney was saying was there's a pace to God. And a lot of times the pace in God is walking. So don't be running when he's walking. Don't be flying when he's walking. Wait on God. Get in sync and in pace with God. He'll renew your strength. And when you get to where you're going, the promise that you're walking to will be there. And you'll be walking in the maturity and the fullness to be able to receive that in its fullness and to operate in its fullness. And you're going to be blessed and people around you are going to be blessed. So don't be in a hurry. Go at the pace of God. He'll get you there. I promise. This meant something to you. Please share it. And uh, we love you. God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon.